in UK. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ram Rohan Panta. Namaste. How are you? Are you enjoying uh, the conference? I'm very much uh, pleased to share the story of millions of young people of Nepal, also the world. I really like to salute them, thank you them for their resiliency, their compassion, their leadership for humanity. As you know, uh, two years, about two years back, mega, uh, next mega earthquake hit in Nepal, which was uh, 7.8, then many, more than 4,000 aftershocks. After two weeks of uh, mega earthquake, there are another aftershocks, uh, 7.5 magnitude. Uh, as you know, Nepal is kind of land link, land link country. Nepal is a smaller mountain nation in between China and India. Uh, we, we have around 30 million, I think uh, one, one third of the Philippines population. That's the situation we have in Nepal. Uh, the world really came to Nepal after earthquake hit. So that I also realized this world is kind of one family. Thank to APSHA, Asia Pacific Peace and Development Service Alliance Network, and also Gobi's Foundation, various chapter, and various other agency uh, mobilized themselves. One of the young person from Christchurch, New Zealand, who happened to be in a similar situation, uh, Mr. Sam Johnson, he quickly came to Nepal through APSHA Alliance Network because uh, we never experienced such kind of a disaster situation earlier. Actually, my father used to tell me this kind of story when he was just eight years old. We, we check the uh, history of Nepal uh, between uh, about 80 to 100 years. We have similar level of earthquake. So, we felt in our generation, also I have two kids uh, around similar age of my father when the earthquake hit back 80 years ago. He also, they also felt uh, kind of uh, our generation experience. We have no idea what we could do because we never been in that situation. That's why APSA Network helped us through APSA Network, Mr. Sam Johnson mobilized to train uh, so we formed various uh, team, uh, some uh, monitoring uh, evaluation team, also survey team, IT team, distribution team, uh, kind of various team. Uh, it, it kind of intuitive. We have many youth mobilized for various things, it's concurrent. So there is no control kind of thing. Youth took leadership by themselves, in a, uh, they play in a team team uh, so that uh, we could able to provide the service when that service needed uh, through our Gopis volunteer uh, network also we distribute uh, uh, mainly we work service deliverance uh, and earthquake relief support work uh, in few months uh, then after next uh, we uh, after a few months passed by, still earthquake after shock coming. Uh, so though you are rich or you are poor, people taking a shelter in a, a makeshift camp in a street, any open space, uh, that kind of situation we have in Nepal. Uh, so then after as monsoon going to hit, uh, uh, after a few days, uh, we discuss ourselves, we need to find more service we need to provide those earthquake affected family so we uh, we came through idea of building transitional shelter using jinx seat uh, you can see in uh, some of the slide uh, that kind of jinx seat we provided so that uh, they could uh, quite well enough to 
resist the monsoon, rainy, rainy days. Uh, so uh, if you, uh, next. So these are some of the graphics uh, we able to help uh, through our network. More than uh, 3,000 families, more than uh, 1,700 volunteers we mobilize. Uh, then also, uh, we provide more than 500 transitional shelter, uh, this kind of thing. Then uh, uh, this uh, first half of uh, 2016, next, uh, we uh, more focus uh, on uh, equipping young people for their youth capability, their leadership uh, role. Because uh, Nepal kind of, we happy people. So we take things easy, even though we have many kind of challenge. So we need to uh, kind of that kind of sense and awareness we need to build, uh, so uh, so that uh, we could prepare the future any kind of disaster, any kind of um, nat mother nature love or care for us. So that's way we more focus uh, solving a real problem, giving their real skill to the youth. Uh, so in uh, Next, uh, in uh, 2016, on award, we more focus uh, 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 that kind of uh, equipping young people through capability training. So uh, we use uh, solar, uh, solar lighting uh, uh, skill to the youth. Even the simplest skill could uh, equip uh, young people to envision further more uh, skill or that kind of visioning next uh, to the young people. Uh, these are the, some of the uh, glimpses of the slide. We also monitor those uh, uh, relief of community, what's their situation going on. Then also, next, we uh, coordinate with the government, uh, what sort of support they are receiving, then information they need to uh, know to get the government support. Uh, that kind of a simple thing, people have uh, just uh, no idea how they could get that kind of information then also receive uh, government support, next. That kind of thing uh, uh, we mobilize. Then uh, next one to equip uh, young people with uh, leadership, moral and innovative leadership, to build uh, them with, uh, uh, with teamwork, also uh, ownership, uh, also living for the greater good. Uh, that kind of uh, core value we try to teach through moral and innovative leadership, next. Uh, so still we, uh, this kind of training, uh, we continue. Through working with young people, working with those community, we learn a few of the lessons I'd like to share that uh, we need to uh, uh, provide or get government support. Still rebuilding going on in Nepal, uh, to permanent solution, kind of uh, we have uh, uh, some Terian Hills section so that the kind of uh, town planning things uh, uh, moving people uh, from uh, in a proper place, that kind of thing also needed. Kind of integrated development model we need to use uh, so that it could be sustainable. Uh, then also uh, we need uh, various uh, partner to equip young people so that uh, they could really prepare uh, this kind of situation and build their capacity. Then also we are following various uh, follow-up plan so that uh, we could really prepare and provide uh, that kind of service. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, all of our uh, uh, youth. Also, I'd like to recognize uh, some of our youth delegate from Nepal. Uh, please stand up, our youth delegate of Nepal. They are also here. Thank you. Uh, also, our AFSA network. Uh, because of uh, that, uh, that network, we could able to provide, uh, could help those needy people. Uh, then this year also, uh, Next month, uh, on uh, April 22nd, 23rd, 24th, we are convening APSHA Network, so that i like to welcome, invite young people of the world to join with us in APSHA Network, so that we could innovate further, uh, so that the young people could really take ownership. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Ram Panda. Wow.